Hello, this is Haka Debeed, and today we are going to be tumbling. If you like this video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. Now let's get right into this. My legacy on Tumblr after 12 years. Your blog sucks. Kill yourself, please. You are, as you are. If you're going to insult my I blog, Again on. Better use correct grammar. One. He forgot to post it anonymous anonymously. Two. He said it to himself. Three. He's correcting his own grammar. Four. His correction is wrong. Five. He spelled grammar wrong. Six. He's insulting his own blog. Seven. He actually answered it. Half of Dragon Ball Z is just people. Is this a room of people doing this? The other or half is people doing this, but outside. Pretty much. <laughs> Maybe Race's Life fourteen eighty eight isn't a good person, but who am I to say? Maybe they run drag and are an avid purveyor of Lolita fashion at 14 children and were born in 1988. Did you ever consider that? The scales of Anubis shift. I feel like somewhere on Tumblr there is someone with that actual username and they are... Not what that person described at all. I know this is going to make me sound pretend and pretensions, but I have to get it off my chest. I feel an unimaginable rage when someone posts a picture and is like, "This picture looks like a Renaissance painting, lol." When the photo clearly has the lighting, colors, the composition of a Baroque or Romantic painting. These are, there are differences in these styles, and those differences are important. Labeling every classical looking painting as Renaissance is annoying and upsetting to me. And anytime I come across one of those posts, I have to put down my phone and go take a walk because they make me so mad. In case you're curious, here's what I mean. Renaissance. Distinct lines, stability, and the individual man. Barak. Bold. Chaotic. Dramatic. Romantic. Romanticize a simple, hard-working life. Do you see the difference? Opie is a vampire who painted works in all of these times. I'd but. I believe it. <sighs> you know, I reblogged this a bit ago and saved it. And was saved for financial ovation and getting kicked out of school because of it. Just mere months from graduation. God called for me for nine until I ate a bite of time they that they made a mistake with filling my account or some other sort of clerical error and said that basically they owe me what money. Well, last time I reblogged the money cat, I won two $100 gift cards at work. I reblogged this a while ago, oh, just for fun, and my dad gave me 50 euro out of nowhere. It's real. <laughs> you will gain a, a, a financial, a financial fortune if you reblog this. The worst part about being an adult is that, that it's no longer or socially acceptable to just roll down a really big hill and run back it and roll back down again. Oh, is this a syphilis metaphor? Passerby would ask. Is this for TikTok? No, I just want to come home covered in dirt and scratches and bask in the sun. 
all this of childlike mirth. Was that a comedic mix-up of a Sisyphus and a Syphilis? Wait, what? Sisyphus! Freaking autocorrect! <laughs> I love that. <laughs> you're not a saint to God and you're just dehydrated. Out of my way, gay boy. I am about to liberate my divine self from this mortal shell. Hot fiddle. <laughs> of course, the best part of any e character's corruption arc is a cool new outfit. I mean, isn't that the only reason that people really like the the um symbiote arc with in in any Spider-Man end story? Bet you didn't think a cute little baby goat like me resting beneath that black water tree to escape the summer heat would be proficient in Microsoft Excel, did you? But you didn't expect me to know how to optimize the spreadsheet by implementing conditional formatting rules, huh? But you took one look at me and thought, no way this kid knows how to use a VLOOKUP function. Well, guess what? I do. I know a diverse array of useful formulas and my body is equal of digesting poison and ivy. I eat that crap like potato chips. Get the freak out of my paddock. I have a lot of pet peeves, so I think the biggest one is when people say things like, Oh, it's such a small town, only 3,500, only 3,500 people. Like, Bitch, my town has a 200 people. You just pick a new adjective. According to Wikipedia, a small town is 1,000 to 20,000 people. So you're correct in saying that 35,000 people is not a small town, is a large town. You are incorrect in thinking that you live in a town. You live in a village. You are a villager. Hmm. I don't know what to do with that information. A villager. Well, first thing you do is shut your mouth, and then uh, you just go, hmm. That's basically it. You become a Minecraft villager now. I hate when I'm trying to look up a good golem recipe, and a rabbi prefaces it with 10 paragraphs about his, his life in the 17th century Prague. Like, I feel for you in my heart, Earl. But there are, are anti Semites going unsuplexed while I'm searching for the ingredient list. Very true, very true. <sighs> very internet. Much internet. I don't want to be real. To grab my own post, but I have to address. I don't know nobody on this house that actually watching the OX, but don't say the words privatized air ever again. I'm sorry. You know, but you know nobody on this website watched the fucking Lorax? I was there, Gandalf. Ancient sins. Ancient sins. <laughs> Privatized air. Does anyone have to link to the Ash X Pikachu blog whose owner actually killed their grandpa a uh, set up a queue for when they went and set up a queue for when they went to prison? This isn't a shit post. I genuinely want to see it again. What do I tag this? Tumblr heritage post? Death trigger warning. <laughs> a little bit it late for that. Follow me. And you should run prostitutes that's something similar, but usually they would have bosses inscribed in their sandals. So if you were ever in the mood, you would just look down and follow the dicks. Follow the yellow dicks around. Beautiful. Hmm. 
This Stephen King guy is out here writing scary books that fright people, and we're just letting him? And who made him King of the Stevens anyway? For a reminder that yesterday my, and my mom took me to Walmart, she left me alone in the toilet paper section and this guy started hitting me and said, sorry I'm a lesbian. He was like, oh my god, I'm so sorry, I thought you were a boy. So that just spewed out of my nose. That was a plot twist. <laughs> so for 17 years of my life, of his life, my boyfriend thought that uh, at quiche was pronounced quickie. And so once we were at a bakery with his mom, and I was like, what are you having? And he said he wanted a quickie. His mom loved so hard. She went to the car to call his aunt so she could tell the family. Police reported blocked his blog for backstabbing me and posting this story. <laughs> nah, you have to live with that. Me. Listen. Brain, we need a creative and beautiful idea to draw. My brain, oh wow, it's a duck. Well, I guess. Oh my god, it's like a day every everyone drop what you're doing. We honor a little dog who set up into space 65 years ago today. She was found at as a three-year-old stray mongrel wandering the streets of Moscow, her ability to endure hardy conditions got her chosen as a candidate for a journey she was never meant to survive. She passed away seven hours after liftoff. I hope she died dreaming of chasing rabbits up in the star. I love you, Laika. Forever and ever. Oh, that was the day before yesterday. I missed it! Each dot represents 5,000 hogs. Untapped infinite hog supply in the ocean. Each state is lined with an impenetrable wall of swine. We are trapped. We've lost Canada. <laughs> We've lost Canada and Mexico to the hogs already. Day 650. One. Who is this raspberry cream boy? This is in. If it, if it is. Is Anthony Eel. A cub and dark frog in greenhouse kept a biology. He passed control and the delight of Templarians. Uh, Templarians. That is a weird word to try and say. The default way for things to taste is good. We know that's because taste means something and tastes good. Conversely, for the word smelling and noisy, we can conclude that the default ways for things to smell and sound is bad. Interestingly, there are no corresponding adjectives for the senses of sight and touch. The inescapable conclusion is that the most ordinary object possible is invisible and intangible, produces a hideous cacophony, smells terrible, but tastes delicious. Yet this description matches no object or phenomenon known to with science or human experience. So what the fuck? This is what ancient Greek philosophy is like. This was funny because I ran the examples in the Polish language and got completely different results. Trying to find a perfect day for your character, but you only have a vague idea of what you want. Like, he feels like a two syllables kind of guy, or it's a, it, 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 it a hard consonant at the end. Yeah, I can get that. <sighs> so, do vampires drink from arteries or veins or both? Ask you for a friend. Do vampires prefer arterial or venous blood? I've never met a vampire, so I'm not sure what their preference would actually be. If I were to make an educated guess, I would say they vastly prefer arterial blood. Here's my reason. Pressure. Everyone hates water fountains with low water pressure. You know, the kind of where the water barely trickles over, so you have to stoop over and it takes forever to get a decent sip. Video is blood is the crappy water fountain of the... 
vampire world. It just slowly oozes out and clots before you get anything good. Arterial pressure is much higher and you get plenty of volume out in seconds. Acidity. Nothing grows a good wine much more than too much acidity. Same with milk, though I do love uh, of kefir. But anyways, blood is more acidic due to higher levels of lactate and CO2 packed up in the e e capillaries. Aside from taste, that extra uh, acidity is hella bad for your gastric reflex. Do vampires get heartburn? Clots. Anyone here or drink milk with curds in it? Yeah, I mean that either. But his blood is more likely to... Ooh, clot. Toilet water. The lymphatic system drains ex extravascular fluid back into the venous circulation. It's like the storm drain that puts all the street runoff back into your plumbing. Guess that's where storm drain. Guess where that storm drain just was of its fluid. That's right, the venous circulation. More specifically, it dumps it via the lymphatic and thoracic thera thera ducts, which are located just as well to the internal jugular veins. Sure, venous ducts would likely prevent most backflow oh, up into oh, the internal jugs, but valves also prevent or water from going back up into the tank. When was the last time you saw someone drinking out of the toilet tank? This guy is a guard ravaging of blood. This blood has so much acid in it. I've seen a tank of color or demons. This would also explain how vampires would wind up killing people by feeding, despite the capacity of a human stomach being only enough to drink about a liter at once or in terms of blood loss enough to make you pal a bit climbing woozy. If they get a major artery and don't bother to do anything to stop the bleeding, then what they don't drink is going all over the floor. I've never met a, met a vampire, so I'm not sure what their preference would uh, actually be. If I were to make an actually K guess, I would say that they vastly prefer arterial blood. Sounds like something a vampire would say. Right? The most dangerous kind of canoes are all, all canoes. I'm going to pronounce it like that now. Hell is when book covers get redesigned with the actors of the show or movie that was made based on it. Stop saying there are exceptions to this post. There are literally no exceptions. I think they should make a Bible with the cast of Jesus as Christ Superstar on the cover. I think that, that might be the exception. Mostly because it would make Christians angry. I stand! There is one exception! I mean, I stand corrected. Sorry. And yes, there is only one exception and that is it. Oh no. Character has frost powers. Me. Your backstory is family related trauma, isn't it? Well, would you look at Katara? Uh. Freaking uh, Jack Frost. Gosh. That one guy from Batman. Ice King. Oh my goodness. Ice King is uh, very sad. Elsa. I don't know her. I don't know him. I don't know her. Sho o to Todoroki and uh, Sub Zero. Wow. Yeah, okay. I just found out that there's a crab that looks like a panic pancake, and now the world seems brighter. I'm actually going to cry over these crabs. If anyone I was curious, it is what they looked like. Now, these were completely made up, but apparently they were actually juvenile. Alter got to integrimus crabs or related species. Also, most members of Artigaris are toxic because of symbiotic bacteria that are produced a tetrotoxin and like poison. Tetrotoxin is the reason and that improperly prepared pufferfish will kill you. These are deadly pancakes. The forbidden pancakes. How to defeat a sphinx. Sphinx. You must solve my riddle or die.
me alternate option. You endure 10 minutes of my best puns or give me the treasure. <laughs> Foolish human, you have doomed yourself. I am the king of verbal sparring. Begin. Okay, but you know the catastrophe you brought that on your head. Was that a cat pun? It's possible. Because I am part feline, I would be lying if I said no. I thought you said these were your best puns. These are perfect puns. Don't throw a hissy fit just because you incorrectly inferred a clause in the argument. In the agreement, I gave you an opportunity and you pounced on it. So you can't say the game's on the fr around now. And if you were half the man you think you are, you wouldn't be in denial about the to the uh, common and superiority of my puns. You're kidding yourself if you thought I'd just Moses on, on into your stomach without a cat fight. Are you scarab yet? Because I can and tell oh, these to the great river runs dry. Oh my raw, stop, stop, stop. Here, just take it. <laughs> Alright. I'm gonna just read this and I think this will have to be the last one because it's too funny. She lives at my pineapple tell I'm under the sea. She spudged my bob so I square in my pants. She dropped on my deck till I flop like a fish. And that was simpler. If you liked this video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. I have no idea what I'm going to be doing tomorrow, so until then, goodbye.